thank you very much for your order. This puppet will be on your way very sure, soon. But in the meantime, here's a video of how your puppet works. So just give it a look before I send it. Thank you. So in the bag, you will get, oops, which pocket did I put it in? A plate, the puppet, and a plate. So this is one of the plates. And also a magnet. So make sure you don't throw away the magnet. That's So when you're wearing thick clothing like I am, you want to put, first of all, let's say that first. First, you want to bend the plate so, that mag so the metal part is facing up with your fingers. You bend it so that it fits nice and curved over your shoulder. I've already got a magnet and a plate under my shoulder. So you can see when it's curved, it curves, you can't see it anymore. So you put the plate and you put the magnet underneath the material. So there's a magnet and a plate already under there. There's a magnet and a plate already under there. If you're wearing really thick pieces of clothing, if you're wearing t-shirt material, you don't need to use the magnet. But for because I'm wearing a nice thick jumper, it's good to have the magnet on. So you can kind of move it around till you feel that it's clicked onto the magnet. Like then, it's now not going to come off. So it should stay on nice and smooth. And then make sure the magnet's the right polarity. So it should stay on nice and connected. And you can flick the feathers forward or back, whatever you want to do. You can have it forward, you can have it back. You can have it depending on what look you want to go with. And they blow really nicely in the wind. Now, to use your puppet, you hold the cord and you push down or make him look up. Oh, wait, I forgot to tell you about exercise. Everyone needs a bit of exercise in the morning. So when you first get your puppet or when every time you go outside, you need to do a bit of exercise. So you get your puppet and just slowly rotate, sorry, take, sort of turn the body and turn the head at the same time. Just give him a bit of free movement so make sure all the fur is in the right spot and able for him to move. Do that a few times. It loosens up everything, makes the fur get in the right way, gives him freedom to movement. Then you put him back on your shoulder and you grab the cord. Push down to make him look up. I'll move close so you can see. And then sideways, move a bit further back to make him look one way. And then a combination of this, I'll try and make it so you can see like this and that will make him turn different ways. Oops, I dropped that. Thank you very much for watching. This is how you move it. So you can watch the video a few times just to get the control of, get the good idea of the controls. But that's him moving on. Bend it down a bit more so you can see. And that's how you move him. I hope that helps with your puppets. She'll be on your way all the way from Australia very soon. Thank you very much.